The pick is in. The San Francisco 49ers have made a selection in the 2024 NFL Draft. Alongside Locked On College football host Spencer McLaughlin, I am Tanitra Batiste, and we're joined by Eric Crocker of Locked On 49ers to break down the 49ers, selecting Ricky Pearsall with the number 31 pick. So, Eric, how did the uncertainty of Brandon Ayub's future with the 49ers maybe play into the decision of them drafting Pearsall? I actually think it was pretty big. You know, you kind of look at this pick, and a lot of people feel like it was a reach. Uh, I kind of look at it from the perspective of the 49ers. You're drafting at 31, and then you don't draft again until, what, pick 36. So you have to figure out kind of, or excuse me, 30, 64, 63, whatever that second round pick is, late in the second round. But what is that sweet spot for drafting a guy that potentially is someone, and I don't like to use the word replace Brandon Ayuk because – of how productive he has been as a 49er, but kind of find a guy that fits that role. And I think Ricky Pearsall does it, but I do think that Brandon Ayuk had a big hand in the 49ers selecting this guy and what's happening with his situation as a 49er. Indeed. And speaking of that, when you look at Pearsall, what for you makes him so special and someone who could be viable for this 49ers offense? You know, I, I liked him. I was a guy who, you know, mocked Ricky Pearsall to the 49ers. Uh, just earlier Thursday morning, I had the 49ers taking him in the second round. Now, even when I was doing this mock, I'm like, oh, man, I don't I don't think Ricky Pearsall is going to be here in the, this late in the second, maybe mid-second. So the 49ers maybe selected him 10 to 15 picks earlier than most people anticipated him going. But he was a guy, when you watch just how he plays, he exemplifies what the 49ers are looking for. Tough, physical, you know, uh, that aggressive guy. He has those characteristics for sure. He catches the ball very well. And then from an athletic trait standpoint, I think he has all those things as well. A guy that is really good with his route running. He's savvy from that standpoint. He has a good three cone. I think his uh, change of direction in route definitely shows up. And then when you watch his ability to catch the ball in traffic, I think those are things that probably really excited a guy like Kyle Shanahan. So again, maybe drafted him a little earlier than most people expected. But when you think of the role that he would potentially play with the 49ers, I think he fits that very well. Yeah. And understandably, they didn't want to take the chance of not getting him. Now, when you look at Pearsall, what do you see him needing to improve to be ready? Should the 49ers need him day one? You know, I think for the 49ers, we've seen a lot of guys come in as rookies and maybe not have the most success. Uh, Brandon Ayuk is a guy who, you know, famously is known for being in Kyle Shanahan's doghouse. And we've seen most young receivers go into that doghouse as well. They drafted a receiver in Danny Gray just a couple years ago, and he may have one regular season catch as a 49er. So you have to know your stuff. You have to be smart on the field, you have to understand what the game plan is and what Kyle is expecting of you. The 49ers, I mean, this is a team that's three straight conference championships uh, appearances, one Super Bowl appearance in that time. They have high expectations. So if you want to be, you know, if you're Ricky Pearsall and you want to make an impact on this team or have a role, you have to come in understanding what is at stake. You have to play at a high level. You have to be ready. And a lot of it, from Kyle Shanahan's standpoint, is mentally. So if you're doing those mental things, you're understanding the playbook, you're blocking. Kyle Shanahan puts a big emphasis on this. He thinks he's a receiver. He was like a fourth receiver for Texas, but he still has that mindset of a guy who was a receiver. He holds his guy to a very high standard in in all of them. And Ricky Pearsall is going to have to come in prepared to play at that standard to be able to make an impact as a rookie for the 49ers, even though he's a first round pick. For more on the 49ers, subscribe to Locked On 49ers on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And for you, Spencer, what does Ricky Pearsall bring to the table that makes him viable for such a potent and effective 49ers offense? Versatility. You know, I don't think he's a guy, you talk about uh, who the Panthers took at 32, Xavier Leggett. That's someone who you throw the ball up to in 50-50 situations. I don't think Pearsall is going to do a lot of that in the NFL, but guess what? Kyle Shanahan's offense doesn't do that hardly at all. He schemes guys open, gets them the ball 
in creative ways. And this is a guy who is not just comfortable in gadget situations, whether it's reverse, fly, sweep, screen pass, whatever you, you want to draw up there. He excels at it. And I think that's why the 49ers ended up taking him in the first round when he had plus 2,000 odds to be a first round draft pick, according to, to FanDuel. And I, I think that, that that's why he moved into that category because Kyle Shannon looked at him and said, I can get creative with that guy. And that's a weapon for, for him to use. For continuing coverage of the 2024 NFL Draft, subscribe to Locked On NFL on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.